Hello, and welcome to Fantastic, uh uh-oh, Fantastic on the road trip stream. Curious to see if everything is in order. Fantastic on the road trip. I watched the full vid of the 2022 road trip. Sick. I thought the VOD channel is a good place for it because people are kind of uh, in tune with wanting to watch like a longer thing, so I thought it was cool to post it there. We have special guest Janice Spiteri on this fantastic broadcast, driving the mighty Prius. Look at that concentration. We are reaching high speeds within the limit, of course. How is everyone feeling today? Appreciate you being here, another beautiful day to be alive. What's everyone's vibe? I guess I haven't streamed since the completion of the can stream, huh? I was trying to do some skating, like, well, I had a good idea for a stream yesterday, but I kind of ran out of time. Um, and then today we're actually driving to a wedding. We are three hours and 24 minutes away. Are we live? Yes, in DD. But, um, so I won't get to skate today, so I thought we could kind of just hang out and vibe on the road. What do you think about that, Janice? Sounds like a beautiful plan. How are you feeling this fantastic day? Uh, good. Chad says, Janice looking super cute. Is that a raise That's the That's really nice. Happiness? Did Sim Club say that? No. Oh. <laughs> Is, if Sim Club says it, it's not as good? No, I, well, it's just in character for him to say it. Because he's a sim? Yeah. So I won't get to skate today, so I thought we could... But yeah, I thought maybe we could play some old driving games, you know, like 20 Questions or I Spy or this other one that Janice and I like to play. We're heading to Jennifer's wedding. No, Jennifer's not married. Come on now. I didn't even know the people's names that are getting married, actually. My cousin Matt, and he's marrying a girl named Jessica. Jennifer? Jessica. Jessica's wedding. Cool. You think it's weird that I go to a wedding and I don't even know what someone looks like? Or it's You've common. met Matt before, Ricky. But I don't know what Jessica looks like. But yeah, we are driving it up. This is real life, real time. This is what it looks like. From LA to SF area. There's just nothing. Look, he's going to try to slip in, but he's not going to get to. This is how it goes in America. Everyone drives super, super, super aggressive. Speed up, and then you can't get in. Ha ha. You think that being out in the middle of nowhere, people would drive chill, just a nice straight road, but no, they go crazy. No, it's not. The problem, Ricky, I'll tell you, this is the problem, is that this highway, you should be able to go as fast as you want. This is the Autobahn. It's straight and flat for three hours. You got... 200 miles of just straight flat which is nice because you can get going put your cruise control on and just chill but you get these dumb semi trucks who need to pass each other and they don't go oh let me wait for a break in cars to pass each other i'm gonna pass right now and then they cut all the drivers off who are going fast and then everybody's got to slow down and then you're waiting because the one truck is going 65 miles an hour and the other truck is going 66 miles an hour and he has to pass him at that speed and so you're waiting as he like inches 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 forward and it blocks everyone else up all of us nice people who just want to put on cruise control and just chill look another one's passing they have to keep passing every two seconds they've got to pass each other i drive this all the time and i barely ever get to use cruise control because people drive too crazy like but it's not crazy it's just these stupid yeah because they this one already passed someone. Now he's back over. Now the other one had to go over. Now they're going back over again, making everyone break. Everyone gets backed up. And then what happens is everybody in the left lane is are the ones who are trying to go fast. They get caught up behind the semis. Fast. But then you get someone in the right lane and speeds all the way up to the back of the semi and then wants to cut in. And it's like, homie, we are all trying to get past him. Like, wait your turn like the rest of us. We are literally all stuck in the same situation. Not driving 65 because I want to. I'm driving 65 because we're stuck behind the other semi. Like, get back in line. Wow. I've been wanting to release that. Yeah, I feel it. I driving is very stressful. Well, I'm not stressed. It's just annoying. Is this the I-10? No, it's the I-5. I also just lost the chat for a while. I didn't know if it was graying too hard. 
Cause we are just a wanna be I-10 has Texas. 80 mile an hour speed limit in West Texas, true. I think it's faster speed in the USA. I think I drove on a road that had 85 in, while well, I was yeah. in Texas, if I recall. Oops. Um, it's 70 here, so you can drive 85 at least. Yeah, I mean, LA traffic better. I mean, this is better than driving in LA traffic, but only slightly. It's just, it's annoying. It's being a two lane road makes the problem. And then also other people don't know the protocol that on a two lane highway, you stay in the right lane unless you're passing someone. And then like when you're ready to pass, then you go over to the left. But if you're just hovering in the left lane for no good reason, you're congesting the traffic. Yeah. Okay, should we play a game? Yeah. What game would you like to play? Well, we don't really have any signs around to play ABCs. What about, I think we should do 20 questions. Okay, I'll I think, think of, you choose something and I'll... Yeah. I'm gonna choose a person. Okay, I think you... Uh, you need to tell the chat somehow. No, I think the chat gets to try to guess too. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, true, okay, yeah, true. All right, chat, we're gonna play 20 questions. Janice, is it 20 questions or 21? 20. So I've actually never played this before. So you can ask questions and you have to figure out who it is by the by question 20. Okay, and you're gonna pick a person. Yeah, I'm already thinking of someone. Okay, so we're gonna start right now? Yeah. Okay, question one, male or female? Female. But I think you have to say, like, is it a blah, blah, because it's yes or no questions. Oh, okay. So let's just pretend I said, is it a male? And you said no. Yeah, no. Are they alive? Yes. Are they over 40 years old? No. Is it someone I have a personal relationship with? No. Okay. Wait, what, how many questions is that? Four? Female, alive, 40, personal relation. Ooh. Four. We come into a stop. Oh, surprise, surprise. That's something I need to trust another semi. Chat, what question should I ask? No, please do not say whoa, whoa, whoa while I'm driving. Thank you. I am in complete control. I think my chat phone is a little bit laggy right now. Well, it's because the the stream is playing later than reality. No, but I mean, the it's not functioning as it normally does. Um, okay, four questions in, 16 left. Are they under the age of 30? Under the age of what? 30. No. So that means they're between 30 and 40. Yes. That wasn't a question, by the way. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. That was no question, by the way. Just clarifying. I know how you like the rules. I do like rules. So five questions. So, female alive between 30 and 40 that I do not know. Okay, are they a fa are they a celebrity? Yes. I mean, I guess it probably was always going to be yes. Maybe I should have said something more. Yeah, you should have got more specific. Um Hmm. Trying to think how I want to narrow this down. I feel like it's going to be someone that you're a fan of. Okay, now the chat caught up. Sorry about that. Uh, where are we going? We're going to a wedding. Jessica's wedding, actually. Associate of Jennifer. 
Can you do a kickflip? No, I feel like the answer is probably definitely no. Yeah, I'm debating, should I ask, are they a YouTuber, are they a singer, are they a TV star or something, or a movie star? Um, okay, what about that? Are they what you would call a movie star? Yes. <laughs> okay, famous movie star, female alive, 30 to 40. That probably Janice likes. 30 to 40 though. Should I just start guessing? <laughs> Who is Jessica? Good question. You're at seven questions. I'm doing good, I think. Yeah. Should I ask the hair color, maybe? Ah! That is a loud Too one. loud. Too Th loud. Thank you, Shazilla, for the bits, though. See, can we turn down the volume a little bit? <laughs> you don't want to startle the driver. I love the driver. Um, oh, where do we take it from here, guys? I feel like there's strategy to this game that Rick doesn't have. Rick's not very much of a game, even in this type of context. Um, okay, movie star. Should I try to figure out what movies I would have seen? 30 to 40, yeah, I can't really think of many 30 to 40 movie female star. They're all 30 to 40. Ask, is she a movie star? Yeah, we asked that. Will I live stream the wedding? Unfortunately not. I wish I could have the I TGS. need to be able to see the side view mirror. Okay, should be back, should be back. Sorry about that, guys. I turned the quality down a little bit. That's, it's pretty good reception, but there's just some like dead spots. Um, but yeah, no more gray. Okay, so I'm up to seven questions deep on Janice's thing. We know it's female, we know it's movie star between age 30 and 40 that I don't know in real life. That I don't know in real life. I died, but I'm back? Feel that. Whoa, it's so close. What? Ricky, please. What up, Ram? Um, okay, is it Emma Watson? No. Dang, Shanice really likes Harry Potter. <laughs> Emma Watson is over 30, right? Yeah. 
okay. I mean, there's not that many celebrities that I know. Yeah, we need some peace in here. To hell are Ricky tonight. I refuse whoa, to die whoa, in a car whoa, whoa, crash. I think oh, it's a terrible whoa. way to die. You just gotta drive Okay, but Ricky, Ricky, you yelling out, whoa, and whoa, that doesn't prevent a car crash. Okay. Let's try to stay a bit further away from the. Ricky, other you have to do this, or else somebody else cuts in front of you, and then you have to brake suddenly. But if they so, cut, do it's not okay. tell me how to drive. I've been driving in this country for 17 years. Has she won any awards? I don't know if they've won awards or not. Like, I don't. I'm trying to think of my list of female movie stars I know that are aged 30 to 40, and I can't really think of any. The only other one I can think of is Emma Watson. Uh, maybe. What's that one in Easy A? Emma Stone. Um, who else? <laughs> Divorce stream, I know, right? Um, who else we got? What other movies have I seen? Why don't you ask more questions instead of trying to guess the person? You're only on question eight. You get 20. But I'm... Well, like, I'm trying to narrow it down. I only know two people, and one of them I wasn't in. How's everybody? Yeah, what up, JD? Thanks, Chocolate Jake. Weddings are stressful, I agree. And we Weddings went to bed are late. not stressful. Went to bed late, woke up early. If you can have a sunny disposition, it's not stressful. I am perfectly at peace when I'm driving. If I don't have someone next to me yelling, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know any other movie stars. So we better hope that it's Emma Stone. <laughs> what up, Mad Charlie Kelly? Mr. Potter and Miss Good Driver, where are we heading? We are going to a wedding. But unfortunately, there won't be any live stream TTS at the wedding. Um, You're holding the thing in front of the rear view again. Yo, what like is what this up? this person's going to try to do and see if I wasn't this close, he would try to okay. squeeze in right We're here. We're on the highway and people just come right up to yeah, you. Yeah, so I have to drive this close or else he would cut in front of me. It's defensive driving. It's sad that we can't just be chill on the highway. Well, you don't get to make the rules. You just have to react how everybody else does it. You got to play the game that we're in. You don't go, this is Fortnite, but I want to play by Call of Duty rules. No. You got to play by the rules of the game you're in. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm really struggling to think of more movie female stars. Chat, do we know any famous movie stars that are female between ages 30 and 40? Please help me. I don't think me. you get to ask the chat. But I'm, I'm about to give up. <laughs> Ricky, you've asked eight questions. You have to, like, keep asking questions. It does. <laughs> I literally could only pick someone that you know. I was so but nice. I, know I didn't anyone. pick it. You, you know this person. What state is this? California. It's not a racetrack. It definitely is. Julie Roberts is older than 40 for sure. The 30 to 40 is what's throwing me. I can't think of any. Okay, yeah, good question. Is she an American actress? No. Maybe she went Australian to try to give me kindness? <laughs> but who's famous Australian? Nicole Kidman? She's older than 40. Is she an Australian actress? Yes. Okay. Is it Margot Robbie? There we go. So what was that, nine? That was ten questions. But see, I, that if might have I'm been honest... That they're asking if it was If Margot. I'm honest, I'm pretty sure Margot Robbie is older than 40. No. Let's check. I think she's... Margot Robbie age bet? I'm betting 36. I think 42. Okay. 
100k. 33? Yeah. Huh. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so are we saying that was 11? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. But I guess I have to pick someone that I know a little bit about, right? Yeah. And should be someone that I know. That's why it was very limited for picking for you. I don't know this Margot Robbie. It's the Chicken Barbie movie. And, and if you had actually asked if she was in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't know. Oh, what wait. Marvel actually, is. no. She wasn't Marvel. She was I refused DC. to watch Avengers she played, 25. No, Ricky. She played the, the Joker girl of Harley Quinn. You I know, don't know what that means. You know you've seen with the, the pigtails and one is pink and one is blue. I don't like to watch fantasy comic books. No, but you've seen you've seen images of her as Harley Quinn. <laughs> Should I pick with the pink and blue pigtails and then she was in Wolf of Wall Street with Leonardo it's DiCaprio? A speed, trap ahead. speed trap, nice. Maybe I'll catch some of these offenders. Um Should I pick someone from the chat is saying? Because Janice can't read the chat. But see, so it's like a team game. Me you and chat getting, versus you. Yeah, you were getting to read the chat for help with your questions. So does it have to be celebrity or can we pick people we know? Um, it's more fun if it's celebrity. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Alright, chat. Should I tell you who I pick? And chat can help you answer the questions because you probably don't know enough about the people. Godzilla. Alright. Chat. That's who I've picked. Okay, let's go. Godzilla? You win. Okay, first question. Rick gives misleading answers. Yes, probably my Holly Kelly. Yeah, so that's why the chat has to keep you on track with the answers you're going to give. Okay. Okay. Question one. Is it a human? You think I'm going to pick a non-human? Well, you could. The disrespect. You said Godzilla. The disrespect, yes. It is a human? Okay, I'll count one question. Is it a male? No. Is it a female? Yes. Interesting use of the question there. <laughs> I have 20 to get it. Is this a... Uh, someone that's in film and TV? No. So not an actor. Is it a musician? No. Is it a influencer? Social uh, media creator? I can only say yes or no, right? Yeah. I, I guess the technical term would be yes. How is it? You don't know if it's a really how is it a maybe on that the technical is yes are they a live streamer <laughs> no maybe that's confusing I guess yeah, just say yes yeah you kind then. of like messed that up like is it a, a, a creator well, like, a social media creator they, they do create yes but that's not what they're known for is it an artist in with all these guys what do we say to is it an artist is the answer yes or no I think I, I guess it's like yes but what do you mean artist musician yeah no 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 I mean artists like they make art I already no. asked if it's okay, a musician no they don't make art I said it is it a musician you said no okay no they do not make art okay but so all I know so far is a girl and she like kind of does social media but not really she she posts on social media, yes. But she's not a creator. She's not like a Mr. Beast type creator. Not at all. What does that mean? Chad, what do I, how do I answer that one? Is she a social media creator? Is the answer yes or no? I think it's got to be yes. Matt Chelly Kelly, my prediction was correct. <laughs> Yo, what up? Mike, Mike, we have the package secured in the vehicle should we unbox it yes and they okay andy says i should say yes to his huge social media creator okay that's what i said i would say that's not her main gig but you can only say yes or no so i think you just have to say yes okay so like what are they primarily known for 
like, well, like the question, the question is, is social media what they're primarily known for? No, that's a better way to phrase it. So, it's not an influencer, not an actress, not a musician, not an artist. Think, is, think like is Ricky. Is it a politician? <laughs> no. Is this that's question nine? Is it an athlete? Yes. Finally, we get some. But it isn't. If someone's known as an athlete, are they a social media creator? No. Okay. Good. Well, it depends who this person is. Yeah, this person's right on the cusp. On the cusp. <laughs> Sinner, no. A female athlete. Mike, that's sick. I see it. Go for the open when you want. Yes, maybe after this game we'll do a mic. A female athlete. You gotta think like Rick. Is it a skateboarder? Yes. So is that 11 now? Or is that 10? That's, I think, 11. Well, you know, or is it 10? I mean, you honestly, if you wanted to win, you could pluck it right now. Yeah. Um, is it someone who is under 20 years old? <sighs> Should I Google it? If it's close? Uh, I, I think no. They're, they're definitely not under 20. Uh, but I don't know the exact age. Okay, well... You think they're not under 20. They're definitely not under 20. So They're probably 30. Maybe it's, less though. It's not Sky. It's not the Australian girl. No. That would be too hard for me to pick them. Is it Letitia? It is indeed. How were you saying when I said, is she 20? And you said, oh, I'm going to have to Google that. Well, I was just trying to think what a real age is. I don't know a real age. Obviously older than us. I don't think so. Yeah. Are we that's, headed to Austin? That's what no, we're going to because, Essa. Because I was trying to pick out an age that would separate Letitia, Alyssa, all of the older ones in one corner and all the new young ones in the other. And 20 was like a good 31 split. is Letitia's yeah. age. Yeah. See, how could you think she was maybe under 20? I said I didn't know her exact age. You okay, said, is she yeah. under 20? And I said, no. You said... I said, is she under 20? You said, I need to look up her age. Well, I was just thinking in my mind, I don't actually know a real age. So if she asks another question, I'll So have to whoever think in the comments said that you were going to give super misleading answers is 100% correct. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Well, so was that a tie or were you on 12? No, there's no there's no tie. It's either you, you win or you don't. But what? So, so we're one each? Yeah, just either you achieve getting it in 20 questions or you don't. Matt Chalica says, love you, Janice, the guy that suggested. Yeah, he knows. Well, it's my first time playing this game. You gotta yeah. be courteous. Like, yeah, if I say, is it an influencer? Letitia, no. Not influencer. She is skateboarder. Well, she has a YouTube channel. She has Instagram. Everybody she... has those. Well, that's what I was trying to get your definition of that. If I said... You If I said Kamala Harris, and I said, is she an influencer? And you said, yes... But like No, she's a politician. Probably like 20% of Letitia's revenue is from influencing. Probably more. So like she kind of is an influencer, but it's not what she's known for. She influences me, is what they say. Can someone send me a dollar on Cash App? Please don't ask stuff like that in the chat. I will time you out. Influencer or social media creator means like that is what they do and what they are I think Letitia is a difficult one to ask and I was leaning towards saying no but I, I wasn't sure and so I said yes alright I will pick one now okay okay ready yep first question are they known as an inf- uh, social media creator no <laughs> okay are they a male? Yes. Are they under the age of 30? No. Are they over the age of 40? Yes. That's four? Yep. Are they a politician? No. No. Thank you, Nilla. Not a politician. Not a social media creator. Are they a musician? No. I, I gotta keep track of the questions better. That was six. 
Oh, you mean of what you're asking? Are they a sports person? No. Uh oh. Not an athlete, not a sports. I'm mean, sorry, not an athlete, not a musician, not a politician. Over 40. Are they on a TV show? Yes. Over 40 on the TV show? What's a TV show? (laughs) Have I watched the TV show? Do I know everything you've ever watched? To the best. Low bit rate. Um, this is a tough game. Oh, yeah, we're dying. Good now. Um, over forty TV show mail. That I know, that maybe I've watched, I don't know. Who's like an old actor on TV? Did you ask that? What? If they were an actor? I said, are they on TV show? Yes. Okay, so they are on reality TV. I didn't say that either. Maybe you should use a question to find out. No, I already know who it is. Is it Jimmy Kimmel? No. (laughs) There's number 10. Are they on a game show? Uh, What is a game show? What is a game show? I asked the questions here, darling. (laughs) Well, what do you consider a game show? I don't want to mislead you, so what do you consider a game show? Okay, it's okay, I know who it is. Do you? <laughs> yes, ready? Okay. Is it Dr. Phil? No. <laughs> what the heck? Because <laughs> that's um, kind of a game show. What? No, that's a talk show, Ricky. <laughs> What's that, 12? That was 11. Well, you didn't answer, is it a game show? Uh. Ye- oh, yeah, you're right. No, but she said they're not a skater. You would probably consider it a game show but it's not technically like in tv definitions of the terms game show no but it's something you would think is a game show so that's 12 they said is it rob Durdick? but i think you would have said if i said is he an athlete you said yes yeah. Also, he doesn't have a game show. Well, they're thinking ridiculousness is That's like on the cusp. It's a reality TV show like Survivor. Well, what's the Survivor dude's name? That's a show that she wouldn't know if I've seen or not. Anyone know the Survivor guy's name? Maybe you should ask more questions before trying to just go right into people. I like to pluck it. Okay. I really thought it was Dr. Phil. <laughs>
is that an official question? Is that, do you want to ask that question? No. Uh, let's see if it's back. And then I've got a good question for you. We're at 12? Yeah. We back. Is it a cooking show? Yes. Is it Gordon Ramsay? Yes. But I can Did they say Yeah. But why? Because they're playing against each other? It's, it's a competition show. It's not a game show. Game show is like Price is Right, he wants to be a millionaire, family feud. But I think... A competition show is like Survivor or American Idol. Those aren't I think is there a studio audience? The answer is no, right? Well, the people come and eat in Hell's Kitchen. And the, the, during the episodes, the chefs are making food for the people in the restaurant. One thing... So, like, the people in the restaurant are, like, kind of the audience. You are that. correct that I have never watched that program in my entire life. Really? You never watched Hell's Kitchen? Of not. Why would Hell's I watch Kitchen that? Hell's Kitchen is so good. Why would I watch a cooking show so ever? So, would you, would you have ever guessed Gordon Ramsay if someone didn't say it in the comments? Yeah, maybe. Old dude See, on TV. I was thinking you'd start asking, is he American? No, I don't. But this is what, this is, is how my... for anything else besides This is how my brain show. works. I know, like, ten old dudes on TV. If I say, is he American, and you say no, that barely even helps me, I feel like. Hell's Kitchen is Rick sitting in his car, lol. You <laughs> feel that? <laughs> all right, you want to do one more? Wait, so I we all completed. But see, this is why it should be in the least questions. It's wins. not a competition between us, Ricky. It's just a fun game to play. There's no... Lovely Massachusetts Mike sent us a beautiful gift, and we can unbox it on the road. I think that'll be kind of fun. Is this something we can open while driving? Well, it's or a big box. Are we gonna be? Are we? Is it gonna be illegal to to have it? Illegal open? to open while being in the passenger seat? No. What if, if we get banned off that? I'll you're not take supposed it. Supposed to have in the car. I'll take it on the chin. What if it's something? Well, what is gonna be not allowed to have in the car? Alcohol, drugs. I Maybe mean, he's gonna make if us. If someone cross send me drugs, we got bigger lines. problems. We gotta cross state lines with drugs unknowingly. Awkwardly, lol. It's legal. I mean, I would hope it's legal. Is it Gordon Ramsay? All right, so I gotta pick another one. Chat, okay, I'm gonna pick someone. What angle should we take this time? You know, I, I've i gotta, it's probably too easy there. Um, okay, I have a good one. All right, that's who I'm gonna pick. Going to jail for a box opening. All right, I've got it. Don't look. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Is it a male? Yes, ma'am. Is it a human? Yes. Is this someone primarily... Nah, she was looking at the mirror. Is this someone primarily known for TV slash film? Or, sorry. Is this, wait, 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 wait. I'm rephrasing. Is this person an actor? Yes. Are they... A, Is he? Do they, you mean? Does, does he do comedy? Yes. Okay. A funny man. Uh... Is he more known for TV than for films? No. Okay, so a movie actor, movie comedian, star, movie star, comedian, funny. Yeah, it's funny already guy. too easy. Is it Adam Sandler? It is indeed. <laughs> I wanted you to say, "Have we met them?" You answer yes. I would just assume no, so that's why I would never ask that to narrow it down. But that's funny, because I know you're a big Adam Sandler fan. Yeah, well, see, like, I pick ones that I know that you know who it is. I could try that's to just pick someone That's what I did obscure. for you. Everyone knows Gordon Ramsay. Barely. Everyone knows Margot Robbie. Barely. I, what? You said... You said that you like Margot Robbie. Yeah. All right, well, I guess you got it in less guesses. So you are the winner. I wasn't saying that there's even a winner at all, but if you say I'm the winner... is getting cut off by this guy, slamming on the brakes. And we're all okay. 
Nothing my happened. My poor brakes getting worn out. Oh my god, brakes are meant to be used. That's I changed brakes. the brakes on my Rav4, and then I sold the car. Is that good? Have you ever changed your brake pads? Personally? Holy flat road. Yes, this is what it looks like when you drive from SF uh, LA to SF on the five. Yeah, show them the side view. Two lanes. You'd think nothing. we're in Kansas. That's what I was saying earlier in the stream. It's literally straight and flat for 200 miles. So if people weren't so there's annoying, you could just go on cruise control. It's nice to drive this road when there's no one around. But when there's traffic yeah. like this, they, people drive crazy. That guy's thing is open. It's not a nice But this is from Massachusetts Mike. It is a very interesting shape. And he actually says on it, this side up. But in the vehicle, it is not as simple as in real life. It is says it a, this side top. Is it a skateboard? I mean, one could imagine that a skateboard could be inside this type of Let's package. Let's play 20 questions about what's in the box. Is it a skateboard? Is it a human? Mike is here with us. Is it a celebrity? Is it a male or female? Is in, it a skateboard? In uh, Spanish, everything has a male or female like orientation in the language. I wonder what cardboard box it is, if it's male or female. Woo! Oh, God. Let's get the neck closed ASAP. Why? You don't like open knife? No. In the car? Oh. Yeah, I fixed the address, don't worry. But thanks for looking out. All no, right. you want the address to show. What is it? Oh! Oh no. my goodness. Look what we open up to McNug. right here. Little McNug sticker. That's how you know it's legit. Amazing. Amazing attention to detail, Mike. It's important, lol. <laughs> so good. I gotta see my side view. Uh -oh. Should I go in front of this yellow car now? Uh, the yellow car is crazy. Wow. It's like McNug is on the road trip with us. <laughs> All right. Wowee. Thank you so much, Mike. This is really, really cool. I see. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of grunting over there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. We got a Revive skateboard. <clears throat> Sam Vestal, sick. Sam Vestal, Shred Quarters presents Sam Vestal Halloween board. Very cool. Size 812, cool. That's a good size. That's what I skated at one point. You skate 812? 8125? Now you have me on eights. Nos, keep... Nosferatu is the guy, yes. That's, that's why I keep that's rolling true. my ankle. Because you skate 8125? No, because you have me skating eights. Not enough board to land on. Yeah. So, guys, there is actually more than one board inside this package. So, we got a Nosferatu. Oh. Oh. We got a pink rail B. Let's go. Very nice. I actually do like the color wood stain boards. How did you get these, Mike? Did you buy them from Braille? Because how did you get Braille and Revive? Or did you buy them separately? That one, I don't know if it says the size. Should we compare to the A125? Oh, that could be an 8 or an 812. Actually, I think it's 8125 as well. <laughs> I missed you, McNug. In German, you have three articles, male, female, and neutral. <coughs> yeah, der, have der they, die das, right? Germans have they, thems. Was this brought at the Braille auction? Okay, my favorite thing about that is the blue background. They could not film at night back then, so they filmed during the day and tinted it blue. I bought separately Braille as an eight. Okay, I was correct. Nice, Mike. 
and we got, whoa, this seems like a wide boy. We got another Nosferatu. Wow, and gripped with Halloween grip tape right there. What grip are you running, Mike? Nice grip job. Should I write the grip job? Oh, I see a couple of infections. Infections? Imperfections look pretty good. Not bad, one here. <laughs> this is cool though. Looks better than my grip jobs. Yeah, we should do, should I set up a stall on Hollywood Boulevard and get people to do grip jobs? Very sick, Mike. Really appreciate you sending. So what I've been saying for the PO Box is send me stuff to give away to kids. So I think with these three boards, we could truly do some kind of amazing giveaway. Yeah, you, know you should do. You should do like a spontaneous uh, skate jam. Like be at the park and be like, "All right, there's a contest starting right now," and then like just start judging the kids. Well, what I was thinking is we could do like maybe like a couple days ahead. I say, "I'm running a game of skate tournament. Winner gets a board," yeah. and then like you, maybe you have to fill out a Google form or something, sign up, yeah. and then play, and then win. I think we could do that like three times. I feel like maybe I, the board can be the grand prize. Maybe I could give like wheels or something as the second. Um, but I feel like that could be a really cool idea. Mike, how do you feel about that? Did you have any? Did you have any ideas for how you would like to see it go down? You don't want to deal with a hundred kids in a contest. I feel like that would be kind of cool though. But yeah, I mean. Ideally, you'd want to have the bracket fill up. Maybe you could fill up the day before or something. And then on the day, we already know exactly what's happening. Insomnia, I'm sad I missed you in Santa Barbara. Should I go back to Santa Barbara? What kind of stuff do you stream? Insomnia. Oh. You want to skate? What the heck? Have you heard? There's like, a, it's always coming up on my YouTube. Bob Bob Russ, Bob Bob Bob. Bob Russ? It's, no, it's like, they do this dance, but it's this like German song, and it's like, Barbara's Kebab Bar or something, I think is the translation. But the guy, it's like rapping in German, it's like, Yabba Dabba 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 Yabba Dabba 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 Bob 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 it's really funny. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ba, ba, ba. Insomnia, I'm still old. I am old, I can still kickflip have two bucks. Damn, that's so sick. Ba, ba, Rosca, ba, Mike, ba, ba. glad I can support the giveaway and get rid of some old decks I'm not gonna skate. Thank you so much, Mike. I really do appreciate that. What board are you currently skating right now? I'm curious if it is a Revive or Braille or what brand you bought right now. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. And like, I think it's really awesome. We will have a skate tournament. I think let's start for the first one with a skate tournament um, and then we'll see what we're feeling for the next few. But I think that would be kind of a fun idea. It's probably be like a logistical nightmare but I think it'll be fun to try. You know what you should do is you make a Google form. Make a Google form uh, to like sign up for the skate tournament with like the date and time and then get a QR code for it and then like a couple days in advance go take the QR code around the park and be like skate tournament on Saturday and have a QR code so people who are just at the park can like sign up and be like oh shoot like I want to do this yeah Mike says he's skating a PAL flight deck 8.5 or Santa Cruz Tintail 825 depends what slash where I am sick flight deck is the way to go flight deck's the one that doesn't break yeah have you skated your flight deck yet no I have not Maybe it's time to get it going. I broke two boards on the first yeah, hop. I know, so maybe you should get Well, on I was the gonna skate deck. the folklore boards, then go to the flight deck. I think I have like three or four folklore boards. You wanna boards. run? But like, maybe use the flight deck and then keep those boards so you have boards for the future. Huh? You wanna just run through and have no boards left, and then the flight deck is your last ever board? Yeah, and then I buy another board. Baba Ruska Baba Baba. Then I'll buy my $25 element boards. Do you have your like enough of your own projects to save away. Yeah. Like so for you keeping. You, yeah, you don't want to break all of them. Yeah. I think I have the pink one, right? Go, switch pink over, one. switch over. Oh yeah. Time for you to switch lanes, Honda. Mm. 
move All right, to should, the right unless you're What do you think, passing. guys? Should we play another game? I Let's look up trivia questions. Play, like, a trivia video so that we can both try to answer the questions. Trivia audio? Yeah. And then we can race to get the answers right. Okay, test your general knowledge one day ago. Side, oh, I can put it on the car. No, I say in the camera, put it to the side because you just keep holding it right in front of the side view. That's good. Why do you need to see the mirror when we just go I literally need to see because I regularly look at all three mirrors so I know who's around me. That's probably why I'm better at driving than you because I always know who's around. Before we get to today's topics, I just want to briefly share with you that I have launched membership on my channel. Come on, bro. So interested or just want to see what that is about, go to the main page on my channel. Click I think on the it join sounded better when it was so coming from your phone. All things science, the English language, mixed trivia questions, picture trivia, and a rare sports and entertainment. Let's begin. Oh wow! It's a little bit loud. So do I pause it or what? Question one: Released by your body, which of the following chemicals causes allergy symptoms? Is it collagen, histamine, or oxytocin? Histamine. We're released by your body. Which of the following chemicals causes allergy symptoms? I don't know. I, I know the thing says antihistamine, so yeah, it's probably histamine. histamine. I think he gives you time to answer it. What? I think the just let it keep playing. Is to be. Okay. Common household bleach is a alkali, acid, or a neutral? Acid. acid? I'll turn it off so I can't it see is it. An alkali. Oh, alkali. Dang, we were wrong. What chemical is used by police to look for blood at a crime scene? Is it mercurochrome, paracetamol, or luminol? Luminol. Luminol. They use luminol. This oh. is like Australian specific. Because we what don't do even say the connection between the brain stem and the spinal cord. Is it the forearm and magnum, mediastinum, or the oblongata? Medulla oblongata. I didn't even hear what he said, but I know that's a brain the Medulla one. oblongata. Let's go. Which official SI unit is used to express temperature? Is it Celsius? Kelvin or Fahrenheit? Kelvin. Fahrenheit? What did they say? I think he said scientific. I think it's Kelvin. I think we need to pull up the whole thing so I can Kelvin is the right answer. I didn't hear what he said. I thought he said what US thing. The study and diagnosis. But I'm closing it so I can't read the, the prompts before you. No, but it's fine. It's fine. You want me to read them? Yeah. You think I won't have an advantage? No, there's no advantage. We're both just trying to get the trivia questions. It's not a, like that serious. Mike, gotta get back to work. Check in later if you still want to have fun. Appreciate you, Mike. Thank you so much for sending the boards. Um, this probably won't go on too much longer, but have a good day at work. Janice getting competitive. Janice loves trivia. Rick doesn't really care for trivia, to be honest. My general knowledge Why is Why are you weak. saying I'm getting competitive? I'm the one saying put it up, and you're like, I don't want to have an advantage. I'm like, it's not that serious. Like, just have it up. I don't yeah, care about it. This is is called odontology. Like what did he say? Or what was the Pathology. Question? The study of disease. So this is the only thing is like when I can't understand what he says, I just need you to be able to read it out. Okay. He says what is the study of this disease? And what are the questions? Allogonomy, well, pathology, palangonagami. So pathology. Yeah. It is called pathology. A group of which animals is called an army, colony, or a knot? Frogs. frogs. I know an frogs. army of frogs. What is the human body's main source of energy? Is it adrenochrome, glucose, glucose. glucose or myoglobin? Glucose. Myoglobin is blood stuff. Glucose, glucose is Glucose is energy. sugar. Yeah, glucose is the energy. The answer is glucose. Boom. 
we call a rock that originated in outer space and has fallen to the Earth's surface. A meteorite, an asteroid, or a meteor? I believe a meteorite is the one that's on the ground. An asteroid is in the space. and But then meteorite. what is a meteor? A I think meteor. it's meteorite. But who knows? Meteorite? It's a meteorite. See, I am right, but I don't know why. And which of the following is a type of technical or engineering drawing? A diorama, a maquette, or a blueprint? Blueprint. blueprint. You should make a channel like this, just questions. A blueprint. Uh-oh. Part two, English language. I'm going to do terrible on this. Yeah. From which language did the English language take the word honcho? From Japanese, Spanish, or Dutch? Spanish. Spanish. This doesn't sound very hon oh, Did uh, he say Japanese. honcho? Yeah. From Japanese. Dang it. Oh, really? Which of the following words is a synonym for boorish, corrupt, purge, or vulgar? Vulgar. Vulgar? The answer is corrupt. What? A word used to identify something physical is called a noun, a preposition, or an adjective. Noun. Yeah, noun. It is a noun. To suddenly and abruptly quit something is called going cold lame turkey. duck, cold turkey, or earworm. Lame duck, bro? Cold Come turkey. on, cold turkey. What up, Alex? Going cold turkey. Which of the following words is similar in meaning to offense or annoyance, postulate, umbrage, Wait, or tumultuous? What Which word is similar in meaning of offense or annoyance? Offense or annoyance? I think it's tumultuous. No. What are the options? Prostulate, umbrag, and tumultuous. Postulate. Umbrag. I think it's tumultuous. Umbridge. Nice guess. No, it's because I knew tumultuous wasn't A false, right. absurd, or distorted representation of something can be called a calamity, a travesty, or chicanery. Chicanery. False, absurd, distorted representation of something, yeah. Now, chicanery is like... Oh, yeah, absurd, yeah, I guess chicanery. It is a travesty. Oh, That's not what? a no? You say that's Drawing a up travesty. contrast by placing opposite ideas next to each other is called antithesis, simile, or euphemism. What's the question? Drawing out contrast by placing opposing ideas next to each other is called not a euphemism. Antithesis or simile. I don't Can you tell me what the word is, actual? Antithesis? Yeah, I think antithesis. it's simile. Okay, yeah, you're right. Antithesis. Correct answer is antithesis. He didn't even say it right. She's got a heart of gold is an example of parable, alliteration, or metaphor. 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 It is a metaphor. Complete the following to let the cat out of the nutshell, bag. frying pan, or bag. 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 Let the cat out of the bag. And something that exists from the beginning of time can be called primordial, coaxial, or alluvial. Primordial? Uh, pri primordial? Yeah, maybe. The primordial. answer is primordial. Primordial soup. Did you know that the word hello was initially not a common greeting, but rather an exclamation used to attract attention or express surprise? Alexander Graham Bell, one of the inventors of the telephone, is credited with recommending hello Come on, as bro. a standard greeting when answering the phone, although he initially suggested ahoy instead. Thomas Edison ahoy. preferred hello and it's Ahoy! Where's Tony and Sinidis when you need him? Mixed trivia questions. Oh, this road got really bumpy. 
Nice Which of the following is an advisor to the leader of a criminal organization? A consigliere, sommelier, or barista? Consigliere! Really? Yeah. I guess. He's like Definitely the uh, a assistant to the mob boss. Consigliere, because it's Italian. In Greek mythology, how many heads does the Hydra have? Three, five, or nine? Five. Uh, three. Three-headed Hydra, five-headed? Nine heads. Nine heads? Dang, you're both wrong. What name is given to the skull and bones flag used by pirates? Is what it Los the? Diablos, St. Nick, or the Jolly Roger? The Jolly Roger. Really? Yeah. The skull and crossbones flag is called the Jolly Roger. How do you know that? I don't know. The answer is Jolly know Roger. It. Something I know. Francois Papadoc Duvillier was the dictator leader of which country? Zimbabwe, Haiti, or Ecuador? Let's go with Zimbabwe. Haiti. Papa Doc, he's Eminem's rival. The correct answer is Haiti. That's oh. right. What do you call the weight of an empty vehicle or container? Is it gross weight, curb weight, or tar weight? Tear weight. Tear weight? Empty container. It is the tar weight. He, this guy can't pronounce it very well. Oh, well, he's also like. You said Kiwi. every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up. Leonardo da Vinci, Pablo Picasso, or Vincent van Gogh? I think it's Picasso. Picasso. Pablo Picasso. Did you know that Pablo Picasso is actually like alive in the 1900s? From? Is it made from sugar cane, potatoes, or grapes? Potatoes, right? Sugar cane. Potatoes is vodka. Rum is made, yeah. Rum is sugar, potatoes is vodka. It's made from sugar cane. In which country is the headquarters of the Volvo Car Corporation? In Denmark, Norway, or Sweden? Volvo. Volvo Sweden? is... I think it's Denmark. The correct answer is Sweden. What up, Kea? What title is given to the head of the federal government of Germany? Is it Chancellor, President, or Prime Minister? Prime Minister. Prime Minister Angela Merkel. Chancellor Angela Merkel. President Angela Merkel. The answer Merkel. is Chancellor. Chancellor. Dang. In the culinary world, a single bite-side odor is called amuse-bouche, sous-vide, or bain-marie. Oh, shoot. Amuse-bouche? Sous-vide, sous-vide. Sous-vide, sure. Amuse-bouche. Amuse -bouche. Dang it, I was right first. I should have changed. Chancellor the Rapper, they say, what is this game called? It's literally just a YouTube when I search trivia. The guy's channel is Detormentis. Detormentis. D-E-T-O-R-M-E-N-T-I-S. And this was called... Top 50 trivia questions to test your general knowledge. Quiz 128. One day ago. And it is time for the bonus question. Oh. Which was the common name given to the German submarines during World War II? If you know the answer to this question, leave it in the comments. And if you are enjoying this quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now, back to the quiz. Nice, dog. I like his music. Yeah. It's actually not a bad genre of what YouTube channel. What country is this? What country is this? It is Mexico. Yeah. Sure. It is Mexico. What object is this? Uh, now, yo, Tony has Tuning to fork. Yo, well, the chat can't see that. You gotta show them. Um. Tony Anthony is, he just asked the question, what is the pirate flag? And it was Jolly Roger. A tuning fork. And he said ahoy was originally meant to be hello. What fruit are these? Bro, no more visuals. Palm dates or dates. What logo is this? Under Armour, but bro, enough with the visuals. It's probably gonna be this whole section. Under Armour. the fuck? Oh, here we go, we're back in. The Greek the rock group Genesis, Sting, Phil Collins, or George Michael. Who was a member of the rock group Sting? Uh, no, sorry. Was who was a member of the rock group Genesis? Sting, Phil Collins, George Michael. Sting. What are a skateboarder's favorite type of sandwich? Wait, we need to answer question. Oh. Phil Collins says the chat. All right, Phil Collins. The correct answer oh, is Phil Collins. Dang. Nice. I only 
definitely know him from Disney. Who of the following is considered one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history? Tom, Tom Brady, Brady, Kobe Bryant, or Dale Earnhardt Sr.? Tom Brady Tom International Brady. Airport. Tom Brady. Singer Celine Dion was born in which country? Canada, Canada. USA, or Australia? Canada. Canada. Are they driving back to Australia? She yeah. was born in Canada. Boom. Rick's too good at this. Someone with a passionate interest in films, the cinema, and movie theory is called an oenologist, film bro. Dang, they low connection. Did they say film bro? Yeah, or cinephile, and the answer is cinephile. cinephile. Cinephile, but like you could also call them a film bro. Yeah, that's not a very good question. What, what the cinephile? heck is going on? A cinephile. Which that actor provided the voice like for the Shrek character? Perfect. Eddie Murphy, Mike Myers, or Rowan Atkinson? Mike Myers. Mike Myers, I even I know that. Even I know that. Mike Myers. Annie Lennox was a member of which pop group? Eurythmics, The Cranberries, or Roxette? What was the third one you no said? No idea. I didn't even hear the name. First one. Cranberries. She was a member of the Eurythmics. Yeah, I got that right, right. Former tennis star Andre Agassi is married to which former tennis champion? Anna Konnikova, Steffi Graf, or Monica Seles? Konnikova. Konnikova. What in the fuck? Woo-hoo-hoo! Final destination. They're really breaking a lot. Yeah, it literally just went down to 40 for no freaking reason. That's why people suck. Cinema and movies. Silas. He is married to Steffi Graf. Oh. George only name Foreman achieved fame and success in which sport? In boxing. Golf, football, athletics or boxing? We Box. met George Foreman. And he named a girl Georgina Foreman. Isn't that hectic? So but we met him one time. Yeah. He was a successful boxer. Boxer. What was the first James Bond movie ever made? Doctor No, Goldfinger, or Diamonds Are Forever? Let's go Diamonds Are Forever. What was the first thing? Doctor, Doctor no. no. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. I don't think Goldfinger was the first one. The oh, answer I is Doctor Do No. I gotta stick with my first guesses. And on which surface does the Wimbledon tennis tournament take place? On a clay court, hard court, or a grass clay. court? Clay. Clay. Oh, hard. Hard court. It's red. On a grass what? court. What? It's not red, it's green. They're breaking. And I we have reached that. the end of round 128 of the Ultimate Trivia Quiz. That guy was interesting. Um, Alright guys, I think we're going to leave it there. Appreciate you guys pulling up. Sorry, but the connection is a little bit weird. George Foreman's sons are all night George. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But we met one of them. Finally made a Ricky stream. Being VOD gang from a while. Keep it up, Ricky. Appreciate you being wow. here. Unfortunately, this is right at the end of the stream. And we're <laughs> going to end it right now. Um, yeah, yeah, we were driving... It was a little hard with the connection and to manage everything, unboxing in the car, but we we got it done. I felt a little guilty because I didn't stream two days in a row, and then now I'm going to be a little bit busy the next today and the next few days as well. So I just wanted to say hello and appreciate you guys so much.